Today we're going to look at SSH connections to an appliance that fails due to strict checking. This means any applications that utilize SSH to establish connections, such as SCP and RSync, will fail to connect to the remote appliance. This affects procedures such as copying Curator SFS files to patch a host to the console's version before adding the appliance to the deployment. This can also occur on existing hosts in your deployment. Now, let's look at an example. In this scenario, I'm unable to make a SSH connection from my console to my event processor. This occurs because when strict checking is enforced, the SSH connections to a host require the host's public host key to previously exist in the known host's file. To resolve this, we'll temporarily disable strict checking on the originating appliance. In this case, it's my console. So now we're going to SSH to the remote host and temporarily disable the strict checking. This will add the entry in the known hosts file. Future attempts will still use strict checking, but that won't be a problem for this remote host because it now has an entry in the known host file. So let's verify that. And once again, I'm going to attempt to make a SSH connection from my console to my event processor. And there we go. Our problem has been resolved. Thank you.